patternless tiger centipede. Scolophendra polymorpha. Gris may sense this. Same scorpion as uh, my video I did in the Salton Sea. This is Spira wolf spider. I unfolded the carpet. And there's a little lizard in there. Come back. Come here. Sagebrush lizard or something? I don't know. Uh, a little scorpion. This is Perioctinus. Um, they're quite tough to identify when they're young, but I'm sure on the genus. This one's quite small. Come on, come with me. I assure you it's fine. Yeah. Possibly Ludiolus? Something like that? Something in the Borregoensis group? Dune scorpion. Oh, nice. Colionix and a few tenebrionids. This gecko seems to be a bit thin, though. May not be doing so well. A bit malnourished, that's for sure. Hopefully that changes. And he starts to eat more. Bit of the habitat. Yeah, come back. Come here. Come here. You are going back underneath. Go. Oh, nice. A little sulfigid camel spider. Not very large at all, but these are always nice to find. I think this is uh, a Remobates species. Oh, nice. Huh. A group of four Abacillus, uh, Abacillus varicosis. Um, blue death fanning beetles. When you pick them up, they just play dead. Even though they're perfectly alive. Look, these three are walking around. I'm gonna take this one, pick it up. And it's dead. Not really. Other one, pick it up. And it plays dead. Last one, pick it up, and it plays dead. Pretty cool. Oh, another sagebrush, I think. I don't know, I still don't know what I'm looking at as far as these lizards go.
Oh. Another camel spider. This one's definitely larger. Probably an adult. And another Aromobates. Likely the same species too. Just flipped this uh, dead palm and there are a few things under here. Um, I saw a scorpion in here. Yeah. Paravehovis, I believe. Paravehovis swearingi. And then over here are a few more blue death vein beetles. Juvenile recluse, desert recluse spider, and a homologous six eyed sand spider sitting right here underneath this old palm. A little pair of Aho Still no adults, not sure what's going on. Ah. Another blue death fainting beetle that is fainting death, as always. I've waited a little and now it's crawling around. Little camel spider. So few good. Found this lizard under this board. I'm not sure which species it is. Definitely not the same as the other ones I've been finding. The sagebrush or the side washed, whatever they are. I think I uh, may have covered this guy in sand when I moved the rock or cement. Another patternless tiger centipede. Scolopendra polymorpha. Carvey Hobus wearing gi. Hold on. Yeah. Quite a common species of scorpion out here, but very few of them are as yellow as this one. Typically, they're more of a dirty tan color. This one's actually quite nice, though. And quite clumsy too, apparently. Another patternless tiger centipede. Seems to be quite common in this particular area, which is quite cool. These start out as a sort of baby blue, sky blue color. So I'll see if I can find a juvenile. Hidden camel spider. What are you doing? Oh man, there's glass everywhere here. I try not to cut myself. Dead tenor bearded beetle. Oh, a gecko. Let me, uh, scare this guy out. Pull this out. Oop. Quite a nice one. This one's really nice. Some leopard spots going on here. Ah, come back. Hey. Next 
to a computer monitor. This one's not as malnourished as the other one. This one's pretty much healthy. Has a kind of a kinked tail. Not sure what that is, but definitely healthier. Anyway, I'll let this one go back under too. Go ahead. Another lizard. Come here, bud. In brumation. You can tell it's rained recently, so this guy's kind of cold. Anyway. Well. Here's uh, one of those juvenile patternless tiger centipedes that I was looking for. See, it's much, much more blue than any adult would be. This is somewhat peculiar. I just flipped this mattress and under it, Scolopendra polymorpha, a patternless centipede. But I'm in a dune habitat, so I'm not sure what it's doing here. Um, and there looks to be a scorpion here as well. Paravehovus waringi. Here's that scorpion. And the centipede is on the move now. Oh, cool. A pallid desert hairy scorpion. This is the fourth species of scorpion that lives out here. This is the largest species of scorpion that lives out here, but this one's just a juvenile. They get really large. Um, I think the pallid morph of the desert hairy scorpion is perhaps the largest in the United States. Largest in all, all of North America, I believe. single patternless polymorpha. This is a first for me. I just flipped this tub and there seems to be a dead, uh, what is this, a masticophus? Masticophus of some sort? I don't know. I'm not amazing with snakes. Xanthusia? Really? You're telling me that Xanthusia live in dune habitat? Well, I guess I'm in the four dunes. But this is kind of unexpected. Strange. A nice Suspira wolf spider. And it's dug out. Paddleless tiger centipede. Come here. Man, it's windy. Ah, I'm being bitten. Ah, it's biting me. Is that all you got, buddy? Is that it? How many times is he gonna bite me? Hey, yo! Another Xanthusia in the dunes. What is going on? I'm in the dunes right now. Like, I don't understand what Xanthusia would be doing here. This one looks a little different from the ones I've seen. Uh, all the ones I've seen of the species. Xanthusia village, vigilus. Strange.
sagebrush lizard, I think. I don't know. Oh no, side botched. Yeah. Uh oh. There's a little scorpion in here. Hervehovis weringi. Um, this one's not full grown. Let's see if I can get it on my hand here. But it looks like it's ready for a molt. Super plump, so yeah. Molt is definitely due here. Another little uh, Smeringris mesensis, dune scorpion. Oh, already on the move, huh? Come here. Ah. Scolopendra polymorpha, patternless tiger centipede. A little Paravihova swearingi. This one is really young, but it's still a very gray color. Homolonychus, the poor man's Sicarius, American sand assassin, or six eyed sand assassin, spider. Very well camouflaged in the sand here. This one seems to be kind of sluggish. Sluggish. I'm not sure what's going on. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.